Hey, welcome back to No Head Beer Review. Very excited for today's beer. It is a 2017 Bourbon County brand coffee stout. And um, this is uh, 2018, right after the release. Um, so a little over a year old. And obviously when you age coffee beers, you're going to lose coffee. I know that. Uh, but I'm curious to see if that changed anything. If it's just gone. If it kind of turned into that more like green pepper. Um, I was talking to Chris from Works From Home. Or Work From Home. And uh, he had a tweak from Avery, I want to say it was three years old. He said the coffee was gone, but it was so fudgy and awesome. So kind of curious to see. It's actually the reason I wanted to do this. Um, and I found this while moving. I thought I was done with these, so pretty excited to find it. Um, it was made with Intelligentsia Black Cat Espresso Coffee Beans. And this one is 12.9% ABV, and it's been in the bottle for, oh, wow, actually even longer than I thought. So about a year and four months, actually. So we'll see how much coffee's left, if any. <laughs> yeah, really excited. Very curious to see how this year's uh, coffee barley wine is. I like, you know, the coffee stout a lot. I like barley barley wine a lot. So we'll see. All right, let's get into the wrong one. I'm sorry. Let's look at it. Yeah, it looks like Bourbon County, a little bit more brown at the bottom than what I've been seeing, just a hair more. Um, but yeah, that dark mocha head, uh, it's going away very quickly. Um, yeah, the glass has some legs already. Medium bubbles, uh, they're going away, yeah, like I said, pretty fast. Probably a finger and a half when I first poured it. Let's get into the aroma. Definitely getting that green pepper note. Um, there's still some coffee, uh, uh, some coffee spiciness, but there's definitely green pepper. Some chocolate spiking throughs. Definitely uh, some of that bourbon and the oak coming through, which is nice. The chocolate's a good mix of like milk chocolate, but there is some dark chocolate as well. So it's not overly sweet, milky, but um, it does have that component. But then it, there's definitely this nice level of dry, dark chocolate. Might be that roasty coffiness is more than the green pepper. So it's not quite 50-50, but the green pepper note is very strong. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. I do not get, well, in, in the finish, actually just tiny amount of the green pepper. Very teeny tiny amount in the back. A lot of chocolate. Um, it's it's that fudgy chocolate. Um, and again, some milk chocolate, some dark chocolate, depending on what part of the gulp <laughs> I'm at. Um, uh, the bourbon's coming through, but not a punch in the face by any stretch of imagination. Yeah, a lot of chocolate. Some vanilla from the barrel. The and probably because it has that year on it. <clears throat> the uh, the flavors are starting that that melding, which I like. Uh, but there's still stuff you know shooting out. Um, not to keep saying chocolate, but that really is the dominant thing. Um, let me get another one. This is it's good. It's good. You don't really get much coffee, but nice level of roast in there with that sweet chocolate, dark chocolate. Um, you can tell it has bourbon, but it's not too strong. A little bit of warmth, nowhere near burning, so that's nice. And again, a little bit lower ABV than some of these other bourbon counties from 2018 I've been drinking lately. Um Caramel, not overly there, but there is some there. Let me do one more gulp, see if I get anything unique and different from what I've already said. I feel like I keep repeating myself. That one had a really nice vanilla note to it, so maybe that's a little bit stronger than I'm thinking originally. 
Um, it is interesting. Here's something different. At first, it comes like the second I, I, I get that going, kind of feels thin. Then you start getting cascaded with all these flavors. I wouldn't say it's quite syrupy. It's approaching that. Um, it's good. I mean, it was better fresh. Um, that coffee is missed. Um, kind of wish maybe I ages for another year. So all of that kind of coffee, um, green pepperness might be gone by then. And then it might be more of that fudginess I was hoping for. It is there. Um, uh, that roast is still there, which could be part of the coffee coming through still, or it could be a unique roastiness from the stout, the, you know, the base beer. Uh, I made me think some of that coffee notes coming through. Well, yeah, it's drinking fine. It's drinking good. It was better fresh. And I would wager it would be better with a little bit more age on it. But only one way to find out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Instagram on Tapped. No high beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.